how did I make my Mandalorian armor and cosplay, all of that jazz. I get asked this question quite a bit and uh, right now I'm in the process of doing my routine in the morning of filming my TikTok videos um, before I get you know started for the rest of the day. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and I figured I'd show you guys each piece of the cosplay and kind of tell you how I put it all together. So let's do it. So number one, I got my flight suit here. Um, as you can see, like this is the under piece to the whole suit. And uh, what I had to do, um, I bought this, you know, as its own, uh, but then I had to, you know, sew on Velcro uh, in specific spots, um, you know, all throughout the suits, like on the legs, and then I have this foam piece on the back that has uh, Velcro uh, attached here on the back, but that's, you know, mainly just for the jetpack piece, which I'll show you guys that as well. So let's go ahead and put this guy on. buttoned up. Uh, next up on the suit is the boots. Uh, funny thing, I, I got these actually at a thrift store. So, you know, these were about like, I don't know, five or six bucks. Uh, perfect size, perfect fit, and just had the, the right look for what I needed uh, for the cosplay. So let's go ahead and put those on as well. Now next up is the shin guards, you know, mine are a, a little bit different, you know, I know like for some Mandalorian cosplays, you know, it's just one whole piece, you know, for the boot, uh, and sometimes they have like another additional piece that's, you know, strapped around, so these are mine uh, for my shin guards, and you know, I have my, um, you know, little uh, bullet pieces that are here uh, that I attached on with like an old piece from a bag that I used to have um, that I you know strapped on you know to mine uh, and you know these are just old shin guards uh, that I had you know lying around for cosplay purposes and I was like you know what I can definitely use these for Mando uh, stuff and then you know I spray painted them with like a, a hammered uh, metal spray paint um, to give it just like a different texture and then yeah, nonetheless, that's that's what I'm using for my shin guards. So let's go ahead and strap those on really quick. Okay, those look good. Now next up uh, for putting on the suit, it's gonna be my little flak vest. I uh, also added a like um, it's not a utility harness, but you know, just a, a gun holster that's right here. Uh, that I sewed on, and this actually used to be a back brace, uh, believe it or not. <laughs> and then I just used some uh, PVA foam and made the design of, um, you know, the flak vest. So, you know, the way I do it, I just, you know, put it around my waist here, and then there's Velcro that's attached on the belt, and I just put it on just like that. And then the next piece that I have to put on uh, next, you know, for the suit would be, you know, the belt. Now, the funny thing about my belt. So I bought this belt, and originally it was just one whole piece, you know, uh, and it was like a, a Boba Fett, you know, belt. So it had all these pouches and all that jazz, uh, and it was all Boba Fett. Um, so I have to do some modifications, obviously, and uh, I used some of the, the pouches that were on the belt to give it like another strap, and then I had, you know, other little things. Um, you know, just being crafty where I could, you know, make it, you know, my own Mando type of design. So now we can get into a couple of 3D pieces of the suit. Uh, these are, you know, the shoulder pads. So you can check those out here. Uh, these were actually given to me for free by a, a buddy of mine. And so uh, they were 3D printed, but I had to do all, you know, the work. So like sanding and the, the painting and all that jazz. So what I did for these, I just have Velcro at the top here and as you can see I have my markers for velcro on the suit and you know what I do is just uh, slap them on that's pretty much it for those and uh, it works just fine um, so that's what I do for the shoulder pads now uh, what I want to do is my my leg armor so those are all you know uh, laced up with uh, velcro on the backs you know to meet my markers on the suit and so yeah, got my thigh armor, leg armors on, boots, all that jazz. Next up, let's go ahead and put the chest armor on and my gauntlets. All right, and let's go ahead and put the chest armor on really quick. And uh, I'll tell you guys how I made this. This is all PVA foam. I literally just bought a pattern 
off of uh, Etsy, you know, for the uh, chest armor. So I, I had to make all of this, you know, myself. Uh, leg armor is PVA foam as well. Um, and, you know, I just kind of eyed it, you know, for myself for that. Um, and just, you know, put it together. Uh, but yeah, this, this was just a pattern off of Etsy, but I still had to put it together myself. So, um, and then next up, we have my uh, Mandalorian gauntlets. Uh, as you can see, the flying birds. Now, funny story about these guys, they're half 3D printed, uh, half PVA foam on the bottom. Now, a, a buddy of mine uh, who did my 3D print stuff, he printed the, the gauntlets, but they were way too small for me. Like, I couldn't, like, I could get my hands through, but I couldn't get it out. Um, so I ended up, like, scratching my hands really bad the first time I got these. So, what I did, uh, five, you know, I was able to break it in place luckily enough that it stayed intact like the top pieces of uh you know the the gauntlets uh and then what i was able to do was add pva foam on the bottom you know and and you know attach it on to where i could just you know slip in and out of the gauntlets you know and and it's comfortable so that's what i did for mine and uh you wouldn't even know that story unless i told you but yeah they look great so yeah uh, most of the armor is on, uh, and then, you know, I have my cape, of course, uh, so you gotta throw your cape on, um, so let's see, there we go, cape is on, and then uh, I also have my blaster, so this was a 3D print as well, uh, and what I did uh, for this guy, just to show you uh, a little closer up, um, I did uh, wood filament paint, uh, you know, all on here. That was like a wood filament marker, actually. Uh, and then gun metal paint, you know, all across um, the blaster. And then there's like other little uh, details that you can add where it looks a little more rusted. Um, so that's what I did for, for this one right here, uh, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, the gloves, almost forgot about those. Um, so my Mandalorian gloves, I should probably go ahead and put those on. I bought these black leather gloves out of thrift store. So I got them for like probably like five bucks. And um, the the top pieces, those were 3D printed from my same friend, uh, Nate Trujillo Nate on uh, Instagram. Uh, he's a cool guy, man. Um, but yeah, so these, well, these parts were 3D printed. So I still had to do the work and sanding and painting and all that jazz for that. But the, the yellow pieces, you know, to the gloves, I just did on the tops of mine. And uh, this was just from old material that I had lying around. And I just, you know, stitched them on, you know, to my gloves. Um, so, yeah, that's, you know, uh, pretty much, you know, the suit in its entirety. Minus, I still got to show you um, the helmet. So, here's the helmet. Um, so, this guy was 3D printed as well. Uh, but what I had to do for this, uh, I still had to do, you know, the sanding. Uh, I still had to do all the painting. I had to put my own visor in uh, and do all my own, you know, little details. On the inside of my helmet, I just have a little bit of, uh, like, thick, you know, softer uh, foam on the back padding to where my head's not so wobbly, you know, when I'm wearing it. I just installed a new visor, like, a few days ago, too. So, um, yeah, there's that. So, let's go ahead and put the helmet on. Boom. There we go. And the full suit is intact. Now, uh, one other thing I did want to show you guys. Well, I wanted to show you guys my uh, jetpack. So, let me go ahead and show you that. Uh, this, I pretty much just eyeballed and, and did it myself. Um, this is all, you know, foam, craft foam, PVA foam. The back piece is actually cardboard, you know, with uh, obviously, you know, I got my Velcro stitching where I can place it on my back and it stays intact. Um, so, yeah, I, I just, I seen a pattern online, just a picture, and, you know, just being crafty, I used things that I had at home, my hot glue gun, and pieced this bad boy together, and this is what I got. So let me go ahead and put that on as well. All right, let me show you guys that jetpack. Uh, there it is. It is on, on the back. Looks great. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much, you know, my full Mandalorian armor, you guys. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also have my Beskar spear. Um, the tops of these were like 3D printed, and the bottom. Um, and then I just bought like a like a 
shower curtain rod thing <laughs> for the bowl and uh, just just put it together man so yeah that's mine I still have a little like touch-ups to do on this but you would never really know unless you've seen it like directly in person but it's great it works pretty fun um, so yeah as you can see like my Mandalorian cosplay is a collective of different pieces brought together to give you the armor that I have um, and it's gone through some transitions from when I first started uh, like when I first started like you guys can see probably like some of the pictures you know, I, it's come through such a transition to where I am now. Um, and honestly, I would have never imagined, you know, having the suit, you know, to be where it is now, which is so cool. Um, and I'm happy that you guys like it. So uh, that, that was the long answer to how I made my Mandalorian armor. Uh, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And uh, all my TikTok people, thank you so very much for coming over to the channel and uh, checking things out. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. And I will see you for the next video. This is the way. Thank you.